Hey guys, in this video, we're going to be talking about a, a certain fitting that you shouldn't use in a particular situation that's probably going to cause you problems. Now, if you've been doing repairs for a while, like me, uh, you're going to see pretty quickly that this is a bad situation. And let's talk about the piece here. And this is a male adapter. An adapter usually refers to a, a fitting that changes form. In this case, it's changing from a female slip to a male thread. This is a one inch female slip by one inch male thread. And the problem is, is when you put that on a heavy piece like a backflow preventer or any type of brass valve or something that's a little bit heavy, right? When you put this on here, the place that it's the very weakest is going to be right here on this um, section to where it changes over to your threads and that's where it's going to split. And the problem is that even if you're on a completely level lot, the person that puts the water meter in or your curb stop or whatever your supply point is, it's hard for them to get that exactly level or at least level in the ground in the way that you want it or how your irrigation system is going to start. In the area I'm at in, in Greenville, South Carolina, pretty much there's always some slope. It's very rare to find a perfectly level lot. So the chances of the water meter you know, being at a an angle that's going to match up with your pipe that's coming in, you, you pull your, you know, your uh, trench away from the water meter, dig out your hole for the backflow preventer and its box to go in there. So you try to get it lined up and there's been so many times, I mean, back when I used to install systems, I don't know, eight out of 10 times that angle wasn't right. And so if you put this male adapter on here, the pl this is the place that all of the stress and all the weight is going to hang on right here and it's going to crack it. Maybe not day one or day two or even month one, but it's going to come back to, to haunt you, especially if you do warranty work on your systems, which you, I mean, you really should give a warranty on your system if, you know, if you're a quality contractor. So we want to eliminate callbacks. So instead of using a male adapter, let's use a female adapter and a Schedule 80 nipple. A nipple is only a short piece of pipe, a short piece of connecting pipe, whether it's slip or threaded. And what I have here is a, a two inch threaded nipple, schedule 80. And schedule, this is schedule 40 and this is schedule 80. Schedule 80 is, I guess, always gray. I don't think I've ever seen a piece that wasn't gray. And it's just thicker, right? It's a whole lot more durable. And a, the female adapter is slip on one end and thread it on the other, female to female. If it had threads all the way through, it'd be called a threaded coupling, but what we have here is a female adapter. So let's put some Teflon tape here on our nipple. Now look, look right into it, and then you're gonna go clockwise with your Teflon tape, and I recommend you do two and a half to three turns per section of thread. I've seen some people you know, look like they're going to unwind the whole diagram roll on the thing, but you get three turns on there, two and a half to three turns. And you do it on both sides. And now I'm going to thread this in here. And it's okay to take some channel locks on this thing and put it on this little uh, flat piece right here so that it doesn't grind up your threads and, and take that down in there. And if you're inexperienced with threads, you really should tighten it up right till the point you feel it crack, not crack, but you feel it kind of just seat and stop. And I've just seen, you know, some guys I've tried to train, like they just want to crank this thing down like they're daggum Hulk Hogan or something like that. Well, you know, these fittings are tapered. And if you run it down here past where it's supposed to go, it'll crack one of the fittings. So you get it all the way down until it snugs and you feel it stop and then quit twisting, okay? So we'll put some more Teflon tape on this end, and then we would feed it into our backflow preventer. And what you have here is a piece, a connection that's far superior to your male adapter. Okay, um, and I think that's really about all I've got to say about it. I mean, unless, you know, if you're putting, say, a head on a stalk, you know, say you've got a, a, a pipe coming up out of a bush or you're back behind some bushes, or um, you know so an obstruction, and you're trying to get the your head up above that so it can spray out over. 
I think it's perfectly fine to use the male adapter. I mean, a rotor or a spray isn't going to be heavy enough or ever put any pressure on it enough to break this male adapter. So I, I would just use that in that situation. I think if, you know, your, your head's on a stalk here and it takes a whack or a hit hard enough to break that, it's probably going to break the pipe or the rotor or whatever. But I don't think I've ever had to replace a male adapter in that situation to where it had a rotor or a spray on top of it. But for your backflow preventers, um, pressure reducing valves, and so forth. Maybe a you know, plastic zone valve. Maybe you don't have to do that just because it's not heavy enough. And generally, when you're placing your valves, you've cut out your area, you've plumbed the pipes in, so it's easy enough to get everything level and without stress. And if you need to put uh, some bricks or a block of wood or something to keep everything, you know, without stress, that's easy enough to do. But this is my favorite combination of all, and I've been doing this for, I don't know, probably, it took me about two or three years to realize what the situation was, and somebody told me that this was the situation, and I, unfortunately, I think the guy's passed on, or I'd give him credit for uh, telling me about it, but it's just kind of common sense that if there's something stronger, like a Schedule 80 fitting, to use that, and also, it's almost always good to keep a toothbrush around to clean out the, the threads before you put the Teflon tape on. Uh, this one is pretty clean. I actually washed it off when I took it out of the truck, but I always keep some uh, toothbrushes around just to clean those threads out before I put the Teflon tape on. And uh, I've mentioned this in other videos before, but you probably shouldn't use pipe dope on plastic fittings. Only use pipe dope when you have metal to metal connections uh, and use Teflon tape when you're having plastic to plastic connections.